Good morning, my dear children. Welcome back to our math class. Today, we will start a new chapter, Mixed Problems. In this chapter, we will have mixed problems. Mixed problem means we will have both addition and subtraction. The same that we did earlier, but we will have both the sums here in this chapter. So, shall we start the chapter? Come on. So, mixed problems will have addition and subtraction. So, first sum is 389 plus 497 minus 234. So, now do you understand we have addition as well as subtraction here in the same problem. Okay. So, for this addition and subtraction, we need to do it in two steps. Okay. The first step is, first we need to do the addition part. Okay. 389 plus 497. We need to add these two numbers and find out the answer. Okay. So, next we need to do the subtraction here. Okay. Shall, us, shall we start? So, the first one is 389 plus 497. So, 9 plus 7. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, 16, 6, we will write here. 1, carry over. Here, 9 plus 8, then plus 1. So, 9 plus 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and then we have one carry over here which is 18. So, 8 and then 1 carry over here. 4 plus 3 plus 1, 4 plus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then plus 1 is 8. So, 886 is our answer. So, we need to subtract this 234 from this 888 which we have got as the answer after adding these two numbers. So, we need to subtract 234 from 886. 886 minus 234. Okay, so this we need to subtract. So 6 minus 4. So after 4, 5, 6, 2. 8 minus 3. After 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 5 is the difference. So 8 minus 2. After 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 6. So, this is our answer. 652 is our answer. After adding these two numbers and then subtracting this number from here. Okay. Let us see one more example. What we have here is 59 plus 380 minus 89. So, what is our step 1? Step 1, we need to add the two numbers here. The first number is 59 plus 380. So, we need to add this first. So, 9 plus 0 is 9. 5 plus 8. So, 8 after that 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, 13 and then 1 carry over. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. So, we have got 439 after adding these two numbers. So now, what is our step 2? Step 2 is, we need to subtract 89 from the answer that we have got. So, 439 minus 89. So, 9 minus 9 would be 0. And here 3 minus 8. We cannot take away 8 from 3, right? So, what should we do? 
we need to borrow from 100's place. So we need to borrow 100. So this will become 3. We will get 100 here. So this will become 13 tenths. Okay. So 13 minus 8. So after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 5 here. And we don't have any number here. So we need to write the 3 here. So this is the answer. 350 is the answer that we have got after adding 59 plus 380 and then subtracting 89 from that. Okay? Now we will do our next exercise in the chapter mixed problems which is fill in the circle. What should we do here? We need to fill these circles with the correct numbers. How do we find out the correct numbers? Come, let's do it. Here we have 100 cents and 1, um, 128, 340 and we have a circle here which we need to fill it with the correct number 293 and they have given the answer also. Okay, so we need to find out which number will come in this circle. Okay, how do we find that? First, we need to, this is an addition problem. Okay, they have given here. We need to find out the sum of these two numbers. Okay, 8 plus 3. So, after 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we have 11 here. But what number do we have here? 2, right? So, if it is only 12, we will write 2 here and 1 will be carried over here. Okay. Now, after 11, we have 12. So, 1 more should be added. So, if we write 1 here, now count and see. 8 plus 1, 9. 9 plus 3, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 for which we write 2 here and 1 would be carried over here. So 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 4, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus 9. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 6 we write here and 1 carry over. So 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 3, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 5 plus 2, 7. So we got the answer. The answer is correct here. So the number which we have written here is correct. Okay. Let us do one more sum of this. So we need to find out the number for this circle. Okay. First what should we do? We need to add the remaining two numbers which we have here. So 9 plus 1 is 10. But what do we have here? 9, right? Which means that the answer here was 19 and then we carried over 1 here. So we have 10. So 19 to get 19. So what is the remaining number after 10? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. So... 9. Now count and see. So 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 9 is 19 and then 1 carry over here. So we have the remaining answer here. Okay. Let's do one more example. We need to find out the missing number here for this circle. What do we have here? 5 and 1. Right. So 5 plus 1 is 6. But what number do we have here? 4, right? Which means that it is a bigger number than this, right? So after 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay? So we have 14 for which they have written 4 here and 1 would be carried over to 10's place. So what number did we get? 8. So 8 is the 
Now how do we check it? We need to add these numbers and check if we get 14 here. Okay. 5 plus 8. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 plus 1 is 14 for which 4 is written here and 1 would be carried over. So the already we have the answer here. So this is how we need to find the missing number in the circle for addition. Okay. The same way how should we uh, find out the number for a subtraction problem. Okay. Let us see that. Here we have 592 minus 4 uh, uh, circle and then 1. The answer is 171. So we need to find out what number will come here in this circle. Okay. Now let us see how to find out this missing number when it is a subtraction problem. So subtraction means you all know that it is taking away. Right. So if we take away a number from the other number that is the subtraction problem. So here if you see 2 minus 1 is 1. So we need to find out which number should be put here to get the answer as 7. Okay. So one thing you need to remember here is in subtraction if the missing number is given in the bottom row. Bottom row means the second number in the second column what should we do from this number we need to count backwards till we get this number okay so 9 we need to count backwards 9 8 7 so we got 7 so we need to stop so what what is the number that we got 2 so 2 is the missing number here. Now you can check the answer. So 9 minus 2. So how should we find out the subtraction? So after this number we need to count till we get 9 here. So after 2 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So what is the answer? 7. So we have to check whether this is correct, right? So now what the number that we have written here is correct, okay? Let us do one more of this for subtraction. So here, as I told you, in this problem, we have the missing number here in the second row, okay? If we have the missing number here in the top row, what should we do? We need to add this number and this number and put it here. Okay. So what do we have here? 1 and then here also we have 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So now you can subtract and see if you take away 1 from 2, what is the answer? So 2 minus 1 is 1, right? So this is how we need to find it out. So for subtraction, if the missing number is in the down row, we need to count from the, this number, from this number we need to count backwards till we reach this number. Okay. So if the missing number is in the top row, what we need to do is that we need to Add this number and the answer here to get the missing number here. Okay. So this is how we will do the missing number to find out the missing number for a subtraction problem. So that's it for our today's session. Let's meet in our next class. See you then. Bye-bye.